In this video, we will discuss how to install Pinpoint Scan version 3 on a Windows 10 workstation. Once you have the Pinpoint Scan file downloaded and extracted, you'll see a folder that looks much like this one. Double click on it to open it, and you may see three files or just the one file. If the file ends in .pkg, that's the application file that would go on the MFP. That should be installed by your service provider. You will be interested in installing the Pinpoint Scan application.msi, which goes on the workstation or on the PC that you're on. This allows the scans to come from the MFP or copier directly to your workstation PC. Double click on this to install. Click I accept and then click install. When it's done, click launch Pinpoint Scan and finish. If when you launch the Pinpoint Scan MSI file, it asks for a username and password, that means that your IT department, or whoever manages your computer devices, has put restrictions in place, and you'll need to get in contact with them for that username and password. The Pinpoint Scan application has launched. The first thing you'll need to do is assign yourself a PIN code. This PIN code is how the machine MFP copier finds your computer on the network. Each person's PIN code must be a unique code and has to be at least four digits. For this example, I'm going to use 0000, four zeros. As you can see, this is a weak, weak PIN code. The other tabs, such as destinations, shows my destinations that Pinpoint Scan has automatically discovered. You can add new destinations by clicking plus and changing this information. Document logs shows any scans that have come in and where they came from and are going to. When you're done, click the X. This completes the installation of Pinpoint Scan. You can now walk up to the copier MFB, click on Pinpoint Scan, type in the PIN code that you put in when installing Pinpoint on your PC, and it should find your machine. Thank you.